but has interesting properties at the doses of 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram, and that is bronchodilation for the patient who has severe asthma. Welcome back to day 17 of Cryptids, and today we're talking about the use of ketamine in asthma. If you take care of critically ill patients, you know that ketamine is one of those drugs that can be used in a variety of situations. At doses of 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram, it could be used for analgesia. And at doses of 1 to 2 milligrams per kilogram, it could be used for dissociation, for RSI, for agitation, and that types of things. But as interesting properties at the doses of 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram, and that is bronchodilation for the patient who has severe asthma. I like it because it works in multimodal ways for bronchodilation. You have your beta agonists working on the beta receptors. You have your muscarinics, magnesium working on their receptors, steroids decrease in total inflammation, and now you have ketamine working as an additional bronchodilator. Another nice property of ketamine is that it causes just a little bit of anxiolysis. When that patient with asthma comes in, they're very tachypnic because they are air hungry and they need more time for expiration. Patients who are tachypnic decrease their time of expiration. By giving the patient a little bit of anxiolysis with the ketamine, you are increasing the amount of expiratory time, allowing them to get more air out. So you get bronchodilation and you get a little bit more expiratory time. And that's why ketamine is a great adjunct for patients with status asthmaticus.